Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Raj Mathai. And I'm Jessica Aguirre. Tonight, an NBC Bay Area investigative unit exclusive. It's writing on the wall that you don't want to see in your neighborhood. We're talking about graffiti here, and San Jose taxpayers are paying up to take it down. But our investigative reporter, Jenna Susco, has uncovered problems with this program. Good evening, Jenna. Raj, last year, the city laid off employees and outsourced its graffiti cleanup to save money. A company based in Los Angeles got the five-year contract worth more than $3 million. But our investigation found taxpayers aren't getting exactly what they paid for. These guys use one coat of paint to mask another. They clean it, measure it, then you pay for it, foot by foot. Take these two swings in a park. How many square feet? Square feet, like two. Do the math, right? Simple, but important math, because the company abating San Jose's graffiti is paid by the square foot. That company is Graffiti Protective Coatings, or GPC. We pulled city records, more than 25,000 work orders, to see exactly how your money is being spent. Then we grabbed the tape measure and checked GPC's math. So how much did the company charge to water blast these swings? 40 square feet. Each swing is only one square foot. I think San Jose is crazy for even paying for something like that. This utility pole. Records show workers painted 58 square feet. Really? Our measurement shows it's 12. The list goes on. And how about the scribble on this trash can? They charged 40 square feet to wash it off. It's obviously ridiculous. I don't want to be paying 10 times what it should be. Graffiti Protective Coatings has been in business with the city since last June. They're paid 40 cents a square foot to abate graffiti. According to their five-year contract, they are budgeted to clean up about one and a half million square feet a year. But nine months in, they've already surpassed that. Does it upset you that they are overcharging the city and ultimately taxpayer dollars are being wasted? Well, I disagree with you, Jenna. You're stating something that I disagree with. Julie edmonds Mares is the city's director of Parks, Recreation and Neighborhood Services. She oversees the program. I don't believe GPC is overcharging the city. And that's after we showed her this. Swing, 40 square feet, mm -hmm. two swings to be rinsed off. Well, again, I'd have to check the doubles, check the square feet, square footage on this particular abatement and double check. And this. Well, this one is a sign sticker on a stop sign. They say that's five square feet. Okay. The whole stop sign isn't five square feet. Mm -hmm. Right. We crunched the numbers. Records show 83% of the sign stickers removed were charged as being five square feet. That's almost 400 stickers. And all of those sign stickers are five square feet. Well, a sign is, uh, I, I'm not an expert on square footage. Neither are we, but we do know this mailbox isn't 205 square feet. And how many trees have you seen covered in 25 square feet of paint? According to records, this is one of them. And work logs show there are 113 more. It's not what we paid for. City Councilman Javier Campos still can't get over these 40 square foot swings. 40 square feet. I don't think you can get 40 square feet if you put 10 swings together. Does it make you mad to see this? Oh, it's, it's yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm disgusted. That's not all he's upset about. According to the city's own study, graffiti has gone up in seven of the 10 districts since last year. The city also states graffiti is down 7% overall, a stark contrast from six years ago when San Jose's anti-graffiti program was nationally known for bringing graffiti down to 129 tags citywide. One, two. Rick Stanton ran that program. Three, four. He's now a graffiti consultant for other cities. When you drive down the street and see graffiti on every other light pole and every fourth utility box, it's a problem, yes. City workers used to paint over just the graffiti, but now GPC is instructed to paint the whole wall. It's called beautification, and they get paid by the square foot to do it. And that's $2,800 for each one of these 7,000 square foot walls to make them all look uniform. Correct. Do you think that's worth it? It's not only to make them all look uniform, it's so that um, the neighbors in the neighborhood feel a sense of safety and security. GPC charged the city $1,600 to paint this 4,000 square foot wall. 
Can you tell the difference? I don't know that this uh, idea of contracting out has been a success at all. We wanted to talk to GPC, but they ignored our repeated requests for an interview. So we followed some GPC workers in San Jose. We asked them about photos from prior months, like those swings. What would you charge for that? That's just one, one feet. Yeah. 40 was written down, 40 square feet. And the stickers. What, what would you say that would be? How many square feet? One. That's the only one. There's no less than one. How was this not caught? I have supervisors that oversee the program and know we do not check at each and every incident. So if there's ever anything that you feel is inaccurate, we'd be more than happy to follow up. But that isn't supposed to be my job. That's supposed to be your job. Correct. But whether or not the job GPC is doing measures up to San Jose's standards, well, depends on who you ask. They do a great job in our community, and I think you should report that as well. We went from having a national model to this. Sad day for our city. Now, the owner of GPC declined our offers to set up an interview. She did say in an email, quote, our company spot checks billings on a regular basis and have consistently found that the net result yields an underbilling as opposed to overbilling. Now, I went by GPC's address in Los Angeles to try to talk to them in person. Turns out it's a P.O. box. Hmm. Very now, we have interesting. also posted even more photos and all 25,000 work orders that we reviewed on our website, NBCBayArea.com. Just search graffiti. Okay. Great. Thank you, Jenna. Well, if you have a tip for our investigative unit, just call 888-996-TIPS, or you can send us an email to the unit at NBCBayArea.com.